What is happening, everybody? We are back with another reaction, and we'll be reacting to Polar, the official trailer. I don't know what this is. I know it's a Netflix movie, I think, or a TV show. I don't know. I just saw it come up, and I, it well, it came up as recommended, and I was like, okay. I, I saw. Uh, uh, I don't remember the actor's name, but Le Chief from uh, Casino Royale was in it. So, I was like, I like him as an actor. And, well, he played Hannibal, if you, know, if you haven't seen, uh, on that TV show Hannibal, if you haven't seen um, uh, Casino Royale. But, anyway, let's see what else Netflix has. Netflix has really been, been, uh, been up in their game lately. I still need to watch uh, Bird Box. But let's see. I'm actually, I'm actually highly anticipating things from Netflix. Now, before I was like, uh, I mean, I'll check it out. I'll check it. I'm like, I, I haven't seen Bird Box because I would actually want to sit down and pay attention to it. But like, Netflix, Netflix coming a coming a serious contender. All right, here we. Is it hit me? I'll see with a gun in his hand. There's a woman. I like it here. Hey, that's a uh, uh, Vanessa. You're not from around here. Hodgins. Is that her thing? What was your job? I kill people. A funeral business. Huh. As you know, we manage the investments of our employees. Johnny Knoxville. Former agent dies after retirement. Their eight million dollars goes back to the company. It goes back to the company. Where the hell is he? It's Batman. Someone set me up over here. Think that crazy. You have nothing to do with it. Think of a monster. You tried to kill the black guys and kidnap his cute little neighbor. Oh, she's a junkie. We should him so we don't have to look over our shoulder for the rest of our lives. You'll need all of it. Try not to be scared. I think the woman looked familiar. Is that the chick from Leave the Weapon? I figured it wouldn't kill me. Holy sh! <laughs> That's hot. Good job, dude. That's uh, what's his name? He was in uh, Jaws. I can't remember his name. I like him. Damn. Yeah, in shape for this. You're not a good man. But you're doing a good thing. Nah, that's not her. That's somebody else. He's Bobo Yeager. Did you happen to see anything peculiar the past couple days? He's a uh, yeah. He's a uh, no. He's Keanu Reeves' character from uh. He's John Wick in his well, can't even say in his fifties because Keanu Reeves is actually in his fifties. <laughs> no, he doesn't look it. <laughs> he aged like a fucking vampire. But yeah, that looks good. I need to, man, I need to. That's something, because I know they got, it was that, uh, that movie with, uh, coming out with, uh, Ben Affleck. It's Triple Threat or something. I forget the name, but it's got a lot of, uh, big time actors in it. Now I have another one to watch, and I still gotta watch Bird Box. I might just watch Bird Box now. Just <laughs> so that's why I'm thinking about it. Just like might might as well. I still got time if I didn't go to work, but uh, 
That looks pretty good. I have to say, they, he, the, the, the chief didn't die in the end of James Bond. <laughs> he became a, a hitman. <laughs> I don't know. I know. Uh, I, I, I like Vanessa. Um, wasn't it Hodgins? Because she was on that show. Uh, the first, the, I mean, I've, I've seen her and other little things, but the first time I watched her regularly was uh, she was on that show Powerless. It's like a DC show about regular people. Uh, it's basically told. Like, if you live in a world, like, a, a superhero world, it was told from the point of view of humans living in a world like that. And, um, I thought it was very, I thought it was a decent show. It didn't, it didn't last, it didn't last a season. I don't think it lasted the whole season. I think they only, they shortened it and they only, uh, I think they only did like 12 episodes, something like that. Or they canceled it. And, uh, I was like, man, that show, I think it could have been. I think it, I think if they would have gotten a stride, like Agents of Shield, like the first season was not great, but <clears throat> if you hold, if you held out, and get into the second season, it starts paying out. Now, as it kind of into the fifth season, I was like, eh. but but that whole they got like, I guess push forward in time or some shit, and I was I just I I I stopped watching it. At the time, because it, it was just, I didn't, like, the, my schedule was all messed up, so I just, I stopped watching a lot of stuff, I stopped watching, I stopped watching, like, Supergirl, The Flash, Arrow, well, I stopped watching those, because they took them off Hulu and put them on, uh, that fucking CW app shit, and that CW app shit was new, and it was fucking up, like, it would freeze, you watching the video, it would, um, skip episodes, uh, Sometimes when he play videos, they would, would just sit there and freeze, and it's like loading, like a little loading icon come on. It wouldn't, it would never start again. You had to close the whole browser out and open it back up. So I just kind of stopped watching those shows because I was like, you should have left them on Hulu. Stop trying to do your own thing, especially if you're gonna do something that's free. Like, <laughs> like it'd be different. Like, well, I guess if it's Hulu, you gotta pay Hulu, and you can do your own thing for free. But well, I guess you gotta pay your workers or whatever. But you don't have to pay your workers and pay Hulu. Put them on there. But I just nah. I feel, I need. I want to catch back up because I didn't get to look at the Elseworld events and all that shit. I'm getting off on something else. Not even about this. That looks fucking awesome. I'll say that. I'm a big fan of Hitman getting revenge on. Even though they killed a bunch of people and not good people, still, at the end they like you know they have a change of heart, they find redemption in somebody, and then something happens where they either get taken away or this person is in trouble or something. I mean, you seen like I said, John Wick, the accountant, uh, fucking James Bond does every or James Bond kills people all the time for for queen and country. But also for women, uh, like hell, uh, Mission Impossible does a fucking time, kind of the same way James Bond does. But it's always a woman involved. Uh, a lot of fucking people do that. It's, it's, it's a, it's a very old trope, but it works, and it's something that you can go back. Especially if the action is good. The action is good, even if the acting is not great. The plot may not be all that. If you got an action movie. And your action sucks. You have the movie's already fair. It's like having a martial art movie, and the martial and it's mainly focused on martial arts, or in some way, shape, or form. And the fight scene suck. <laughs> but then the movie's fair. I don't care how good the acting and the plot is. If the fight scene suck in that movie, then the whole, well, that'd be like the raid. Like that's what I mean. Like well, if I like a martial art movie. Think of the raid. All the fight scenes sucked. Like now, the raid. Now you could argue the fact that maybe the acting wasn't that great, or the plot wasn't all that great. But the plot was simple, so it was. It wasn't necessarily. It didn't need to be great. It was simple enough to understand and to carry to the end of the movie. Added with the fight scenes, so you actually was invested in knowing and wanted to see these characters progress and get out of there alive so 
to, to the plot did his job. But uh, like I said, that's like a martial art movie. Let's think if all those fights ain't suck, that then that whole movie would just suck. <laughs> At the end of the day, it would just wouldn't be a good movie. Like I don't care if the acting was Oscar level or whatever. Like <laughs> and the story was just magnificent. It, like if it's an action movie like the martial art movie, and those things suck, then it failed in my opinion. But had to keep an eye out for this one. I don't forget the name of it already. Polar. Like, maybe he has. Maybe he's bipolar. Maybe that's what that means. <laughs> but anyway, what y'all think of it? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.